in the picturesque town of Camden, on the coast of Maine. Everything seems to be perfect, but below the surface, an evil is brooding. This evil does not come from the tales of Stephen King or Lovecraft. This evil does not select individuals. This evil dwells in the hearts of mankind. Within this darkness, there stands one light, one man to uphold justice. The evil is parking, and the man is Jeff Soupforth. I fought it and uh, told him I wasn't going to pay it. Well, I wasn't happy. And uh, I never paid it. It went away. I was uh, upset with my uh, employees. Anger. Uh, resentment. Never. You've never got a park? Today. No. Oh, my God. In 12 years. <laughs> to park my work truck in a loading zone and left it there, so I got a ticket. Official job title is uh, Parking Enforcement Officer for the Police Department here in Camden. Yeah, I don't know if you'd really call it confrontation. You know, I mean, it's not like, you know, some places probably really have issues, but the uh, biggest biggest issue is, you know, you're issuing someone a ticket, they'll run up, and, you know, uh, I've only been here a couple minutes. We get a lot of more confrontation, if that's what you want to call it, when people come in here, because they'll bring the ticket in here and uh, want to pay it, or complain that they got a ticket. If I'm here, you know, I can handle them. Uh, Jody, the admin assistant right here, you know, she's more than capable of handling it. Uh, mostly it's how am I supposed to know that I'm not allowed to park for more than two hours. I didn't see the sign. You're going to charge me $10 for over parking. I backed into the parking space, so I didn't know it was handicapped. There's empty parking spaces. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I, I don't think the majority of them think, you know, bad person. The guy with the little chalk stick, think about him. I think of the guy that walks around marking people's tires. I don't know if they enforce it or not, because I've never seen anybody walking around with the tickets. Uh, I don't think they think sometimes that it's needed. You know, I think a lot, all of them understand and realize you know, that it's a necessary evil. I, think, you know. I don't know, I think it's a hassle. But everybody that has a car has to deal with it. I think we need more parking spaces and less parking enforcement. Give people places to park and we won't need to be giving them tickets. I don't like the idea that people need to feel like they're being policed about how long they keep their car in a spot. When we were little kids, we used to lick our fingers and rub the sticker off the tire. <laughs> but at the same time, I know what it's like to drive through Camden and not be able to find a parking spot. It was a little game my mom taught me. <laughs> Don't tell. What do we have? There are close to 5,000 residents here probably in the summer. It you know, swells to double that. There's not a whole lot of places for cars. You know, there's no real good or logical answer for it. Anything you'd like to say that you feel that you wish people knew before they walked in here with a parking ticket? I'm not the one that gave them the parking ticket, and I didn't see how you were parked. Probably the biggest thing is, you know, uh, don't, don't try to tell me what my job is. Yelling at me is not really going to help you any. I'm not doing this just to <laughs> be spiteful of me. You know, it's a, it's a job, and you know, that's what I'm hired to do. As we all go about our busy lives, it is important not to lose sight of the common thread that bonds us as people. Parking is just one challenge of many we face each day. Try to remember that we all breathe the same air and want to park in the same places.